Well, tonight, Ruby the Elephant is near the end of her 18-month Tennessee road trip. Within hours, Ruby will be back at the L.A. Zoo, where animal activists say she should never have left. Channel 4's Noelle Walker is live at the zoo with the latest. Hello, Noelle. Hello, Fernell. Ruby's cross-country trek started in Tennessee yesterday morning, and she's supposed to arrive here at the L.A. Zoo late tonight, though we haven't seen any sign of her yet, and I have to think she's pretty hard to miss. Animal rights activists call her return here a victory, though her future here is still uncertain. Tonight, the L.A. Zoo is preparing for a homecoming. Ruby, a 43-year-old African elephant, will spend her first night at home in 18 months. For animal activists like Melia Kaplan, Ruby's return is bittersweet. I'm happy in the fact that she's going to be reunited with her friend Gita. I'm mixed because where is she going? When the 9,000-pound pachyderm left L.A. for the Knoxville Zoo last year, there was anger and sadness. Ruby was shipped to the Knoxville Zoo in Tennessee, separated from the only friend she'd ever known, Gita. Ruby never really adjusted to her new southern digs. She seemed restless. Those who fought for her return say she was homesick for Gita, an Asian elephant at the L.A. Zoo. There are a bunch of us and a lot of people in this city that are going to be glad to know that Ruby's coming home. But will she stay in L.A.? The zoo has left the door open to move her again. As it creates a new Asian elephant exhibit, Ruby, an African elephant, could be the odd elephant out. The AZA has this idea that they want Asians together and Africans together, which maybe an ideal world would be great. But, you know, I have a lot of friends of mine from other countries. We get along just fine. Now, animal rights activists say the L.A. Zoo is really their second choice home for Ruby. They'd like to see her go to a sanctuary. The L.A. Zoo is expected to hold a press conference tomorrow afternoon. So stay tuned. Live in Griffith Park, Noelle Walker, Channel 4 News. And Ruby the Elephant, remember her? Well, she is hours away from returning back home to the L.A. Zoo. Well, Ruby the Elephant is on her way back home to the Los Angeles Zoo. Now, you may remember Ruby. She moved from Los Angeles to a zoo in Knoxville, Tennessee. Animal yeah, rights sure. activists criticized the move. They said Ruby would miss her longtime companion, another elephant named Gita. Keepers say Ruby had a hard time adjusting to the new surroundings in yeah, Tennessee, so they're bringing her home. Ruby left Knoxville on Friday. She's due back in L.A. tomorrow. Now, Team 4 reports. The ongoing battle over Ruby the Elephant. She's back at the L.A. Zoo right now tonight, but many activists would like her to be moved again to an elephant sanctuary. In fact, many animal activists say the L.A. Zoo should allow all its elephants to be moved to sanctuaries because they claim life in that zoo just isn't healthy for those highly socialized animals. Channel 4's Doug Kriegel looked into their claims, and here's the story. I'll go this way. I need to get the keepers in. This home video taken at the San Francisco Zoo is the last living look at Callie the elephant before she was euthanized because of ill health. That makes two elephants who died here this year. Now, San Francisco Zoo is shutting down its elephant exhibit because of public pressure. Put your trunk up, Fatso. The remaining San Francisco elephants will be sent to this sanctuary in Northern California. Now the manager at the Detroit Zoo wants to send his elephants here because he says they will live longer, healthier lives in this kind of setting. Here in L.A., activists say the zoo should close its elephant exhibit. The zoo says no chance. But there have been a series of elephant problems here over the past 20 years. The death of Hannibal and others were flashpoints. Former zoo employees claim that elephants were abused routinely Gary Kuhn, former veterinarian at the L.A. Zoo, says bull hooks and electric shocks were used to discipline elephants. And this is a very heavy-duty dose of electricity, and it was used to basically electrocute the elephants short of killing them. In other words, to apply torture. People who worked at the zoo say they reported the cruelty to management. And I know that there were keepers that did go to the director at that time and complain about the abuse, but it was that was the norm for zoos at that time, how to handle their elephants. The LA Zoo has rejected charges of abuse in the past, but there's now a new management team here, and they have inherited some difficult situations. For example, the only elephant on display most days is Billy. Elephants crave company, but Billy is all alone, and elephant handlers claim that rocking back and forth motion is a sign that he is unhappy. I think that Billy's exhibiting a lot of stereotypic behaviors. 
that are unhealthy, to say the least. Notice Ruby the Elephant doing that same rocking motion after she was shipped to Knoxville from L.A. and couldn't be integrated into the herd at that zoo. Still, another problem at L.A. Zoo involves the small temporary area where the two females, Gita and Tower, are kept, in the back, away from the public. The L.A. Zoo hoped to house its elephants in a brand new pachyderm forest exhibit as part of a $100 million makeover approved by the voters in a bond issue. But the zoo's construction project is running two years late. It's unclear when the new elephant exhibit will actually be ready. The zoo is declining to be interviewed. Meantime, the elephant sanctuaries that offer open space and jacuzzi baths are saying this is the most humane way to treat these magnificent creatures. They say let the public visit them here. Oh, boy. This is good. Doug Kriegel, Channel 4 News, Los Angeles. Life for elephants in the zoo just isn't healthy for those intelligent, highly socialized animals. Channel 4's Doug Kriegel looked into the treatment of elephants at our nation's zoos, and some of the video, we should warn you, is a bit disturbing. I'll go this way. I need to get the keepers in. This home video taken at the San Francisco Zoo is the last living look at Callie the elephant before she was euthanized because of ill health. That makes two elephants who died here this year. Now, San Francisco Zoo is shutting down its elephant exhibit because of public pressure. Put your trunk up, Fatso. The remaining San Francisco elephants will be sent to this sanctuary in Northern California. Now, the manager at the Detroit Zoo wants to send his elephants here because he says they will live longer, healthier lives in this kind of setting. He claims studies show elephants have shorter lifespans and trouble breeding in zoos. The history of elephants in America began with performing, using the elephants in show business. But the training of elephants behind the scenes often led to abusive treatment. Here, Tammy in the Milwaukee Zoo is tied and beaten so they can teach her to hold up her trunk and salute the crowd. But the cruel treatment of elephants as a public spectacle perhaps reached its lowest point a hundred years ago when they actually electrocuted an elephant in front of 1,500 people merely to demonstrate the power of electricity. Elephant curator Les Schober. Oh, it's horrible. We have a horrible history. We've killed millions of elephants going way back. Here in L.A., activists say the zoo should close its elephant exhibit. The zoo says no chance. But there have been a series of elephant problems here over the past 20 years. The death of Hannibal and others were flashpoints. Former zoo employees claim that elephants were abused routinely. Gary Kuhn, former veterinarian at the L.A. Zoo, says bull hooks and electric shocks were used to discipline elephants. And this is a very heavy-duty dose of electricity, and it was used to basically electrocute the elephants short of killing them. In other words, to apply torture. People who worked at the zoo say they reported the cruelty to management. And I know that there were keepers that did go to the director at that time and complain about the abuse, but it was, that was the norm for zoos at that time, how to handle their elephants. The L.A. Zoo has rejected charges of abuse in the past, but there's now a new management team here, and they have inherited some difficult situations. For example, the only elephant on display most days is Billy, elephants crave company. But Billy is all alone, and elephant handlers claim that rocking back and forth motion is a sign that he is unhappy. I think that Billy's exhibiting a lot of stereotypic behaviors that are unhealthy, to say the least. Notice Ruby the Elephant doing that same rocking motion after she was shipped to Knoxville from L.A. and couldn't be integrated into the herd at that zoo. Still, another problem at L.A. Zoo involves the small temporary area where the two females, Gita and Tower, are kept, in the back, away from the public. The L.A. Zoo hoped to house its elephants in a brand new pachyderm forest exhibit as part of a $100 million makeover approved by the voters in a bond issue. But the zoo's construction project is running two years late. It's unclear when the new elephant exhibit will actually be ready. The zoo is declining to be interviewed. 
Meantime, the elephant sanctuaries that offer open space and jacuzzi baths are saying this is the most humane way to treat these magnificent creatures. They say let the public visit them here. Oh, boy. This is good. Doug Kriegel, Channel 4 News, Los Angeles.